Hello, hello, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Hopefully you're all having a very good day. We stand triumphant in the uh, base of the Tower of Magi, the Circle of Magi. And uh, yeah, no, we did well. We did very, very well. We took down Uldred, we uh, got through the Fade. Fade took a little bit longer than I thought, but the Fade always takes uh, longer than uh, than I think it will. So all we have to do now is talk to the first enchanter. I believe there's nothing else we can really do down here. Don't need to level up anyone. We'll be getting Win out of here soon enough now for Morrigan. Here we are, the tower in disarray. Now let's try and get some help. A circle nearly annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. Hey man, you know I try, I try anyway, yeah. Unfortunately, I was not here, you know, with the purest of intentions. I did have an ulterior motive. Uh, I need help with the Blight. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this, only to be overcome by the Blight. And I think we also need more help with the issue going on in Redcliffe. Hopefully we get an option for that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've ever done it this way, so this should be quite interesting. I don't really know what to, what to expect. What about the tower, though? I mean, surely we need to leave a few of you behind. We will do what we can for now. But if the blight spreads, the tower itself will be lost. Aye. Stopping the blight is more important. You have my word. As first enchanter, the Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Warden. Win, we need you here. The Circle needs you. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. Oh, you. Even though I'm gonna throw you away the first chance I get. Ah, oh, be honored to have you join. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then... I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden, but know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. Yeah, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Ah, good, we have an option for it. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah, can the Circle go to Redcliffe and help with, uh, help with the kid? The child is possessed, but... Killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. Wow. That easy, huh? Good shit. Achievement unlocked. Magic sympathizer. Uh, hello, you there, Quartermaster Man. Oh boy, do I have a deal for you. You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. Yeah, well, so I am God. After that, don't you? No, absolutely. Let's uh, have a bit of a trade, shall we? Kind of hard to kill that which cannot be killed when one has a healer on their side. Now then, um... Massive, massive. Gonna keep that... Templar armor is that actually better? Oh my no no that can I can get the hell out. A uh, small metal round shield. Uh, it's tier three. Although I think Ali at the moment has a tier three shield, so that can go away. The libertarian's cowl and these gauntlets will. Oh, they're inscribed. Tier six. Can that even? Can Morgan even wear that now? Maybe, maybe, maybe we're gonna keep these for the pup. Uh, that can get the hell out. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Keeping the battle axe, I said, I think I said I would give that to, uh, to Sten, so that's good. That can get the hell out. What else we got here? All these bombs and shock bombs and acid flasks and whatnot. Don't really need them. We'll keep the injury kits, uh, the crunch. 
I think that's only useful if the Mabari is with you, so we'll get rid of that real quick. All these Lyrium potions, and I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not fucking using them, am I? Now they can all go. This is how we make money, people. Already up to nine sovereigns. Good stuff. Shock coating, that can go, that can go, that can go, this can all go, the salves can all go. Get the hell out of here. Thankfully this guy literally has infinite money. We're gonna keep... Rock salve increases. Yeah, I, I never use them, and we're fine. So, yeah, we don't need any of the salves or the icor. Actually, we'll keep the icors. How about the dust? Okay, it's literally a mini mana potion, so no, that can go. Elfruit and the flasks will keep. Deep mushroom. That'll just give me stamina back. We've been fine without those, so that's okay. Now, some of you may be very annoyed at what I'm doing, and others may not be annoyed, but trust me, it's gonna work out. We also need to give away all these uh, gifts as well when we can. We'll probably do that when we're back at camp. I can go. I can go. Why do I even have a trade manifest? Right, nine private documents. Okay then, blank Valum. I can get the hell out. Quartz can go, the ruby can go, the bracers are a gift. So we've taken out nearly half of our cap. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we don't need that either. 13 sovereigns. Pretty good. Now what can we buy? Is there anything here that we can buy? Oh, we're, we have red steel. Oh, no shit. Alright then. It's gonna be mage, mage, mage. We got there, more red steel. Viridium is definitely tier 4 and that's tier 5. Okay then, what are we wearing at the moment? This is a flat out upgrade. Red steel scale armor which we're currently wearing. 7 sovereigns, we have 13. Chainmail again, the chainmail and scale armor and all that. Purely aesthetical. Buy it. Oh, exciting. Um, honestly, I kind of want to get the chainmail for Ali as well. That could be a big upgrade for him. Even though I said I kind of wanted him to wear that massive armor that we currently have, but fortunately that's not really happening right now. Uh, he needs 30 strength. What's he on at the moment? He must not be far away. He has to be, I like, on 29 or something. Where, where the, where's the stat sheet? Right. Okay, he is on 29. Yes, he is only one away. All right, lovely. Good stuff. So, I'm gonna put this on. What do we have on at the moment? Okay, Viridium. Oh, we're becoming very red. We're becoming very red indeed. The helm, on the other hand, and the boots could definitely stand to be upgraded. But yeah, no, we look good. Can I talk to you again? You really killed all those abominations? I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Yeah, all right. Uh, do you have boots? We need them. Oh, you literally do. Good man. Uh, do you have gloves? I need them. Please, tell me that you do. Uh, is that tier 3? Yeah, okay. Oh, well, we spent quite a bit, but... In terms of, like, an overall armor upgrade... Uh, we, we we're definitely looking good now, people. Okay, good stuff. What do you have on there? Grey iron, oh yeah, no, okay, we'll definitely give you the hand-me-down for the time being. Viridium, tier 3, and tier... The helmet is bad, Ali, we gotta help you out with that, man. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the camp. Are we gonna go back to the camp? Or are we gonna beeline it straight to Redcliffe Castle? I don't know if there's really a time element here, because we've already done... Um, because we've already done the, uh, the attack... We've sorted all that out. I don't I don't think time is an issue right now, so yeah, let's just go back to camp. What we can do is we can try and give Morrigan uh that was it the gloves or the hat? Do we have both? I know we have uh, I know we have a piece of armor that we can right. that we can How give her. End it? Ah, Stan, hello, I actually have a weapon for you. Um well we have to fight the archdemon, and actually massive armor for you could be good as well. But yeah, no, we, we need to fight the archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. 
Guys, basically calling me out for having no plan. I mean, you doubt I'm really a warden? You fuck. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Well, I, I, I literally, my, I, I've been in here a week, okay? Will you make that excuse to the Archdemon, or the victims it claims in the meantime? That's true. It's very true. God damn you, Sten. God damn you. All right. Pretty much have access to everyone. So, puppy, Schwimmy, what do you have there, bud? Because I have you a caddis. Enjoy. Oh, the war harness. Take that, my friend. Take that. Uh, Sten, my man, what do we got here for you? I wonder. So you're currently wearing a whole lot of nothing. I mean, fuck me. You don't even have a weapon here. Take that. You'll enjoy that. Uh, the Viridian armor is already being worn by Ali. And we're really wanting him to get into that. Ah, oh, man, you have, like, no stats, though, do you? You can't even wear this. Yeah, wear that for now. That's fine. Sorry about the lack of boots or, you know, <laughs> loves. Sorry about that, mate. Uh, Morrigan. Oh, you can wear these. Oh, hell yeah! Enjoy it! They on? They are on. Cinderfell gauntlets. How about the cow? Get a good amount of defense! Oh my god. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Is that pretty much everything we need to do? Alright, good shit. Uh, let's talk to people. You. Why are we stopping? I uh, just think we should talk because I intend to do all the uh, character quests, so... We need to have a chat. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? You're damn right it is, my friend. I need to know if I can trust you at my back. Now that's just gonna piss him off. You're in the cage for a while, man. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Hey, man. Hey. I've just never seen a canary before, man. Tell me about yourself. No. Okay! Please? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Holy shit. Said you're, you said you're in the army? I am. And what made you decide to do that? Decide. I am a Sten of the Beresad. I did not choose to be who I am any more than you did. Oh, you were Shanghai. And why would the Canary be sending soldiers here? The Antam are the eyes, hands, and mouth of the Kunari. We are how my people know the world. Could make... Yeah, no, that could make, you know, your view of things a tap bit skewed. Compared to what? Yeah, man, he is incredibly tact. A little bit curse and very direct. Hmm. So you only learn about the people you conquer. What does anyone truly know of the world? The world changes. We change. The Antam observe what we can, just as you do. There is no point to this. We are keeping the Darkspawn waiting. Uh, what's your hurry? What a strange language you speak. You say hurry, where I would say duty. Yeah, that, that is very, very true. But it's not your duty, though. No, it is yours, and you are chatting with me instead. Hmm, we should get moving. I probably hurt my chances here quite a bit. As you wish. Oh no, okay, I went up by two. Okay, we'll take that. Actually, now, now that I remember, we do have a gift or two that we need to uh, get given. So, that's not where my gifts are. Where are they? Yes. Puppy. Enjoy it, boy. And the, and the beef bone as well. Good lad. Take the lamb bone. I didn't really do much for me. Who would like the wine? I honestly think it would have to be like Morgan. Definitely seems like she'd appreciate a fine wine. A fine gift. Yeah. You have my thanks. Ah well. So I'm here for white rune stone. A small flat white stone with a gold rune carved into it. Who would like that? I think Leliana would like that. Would Leliana like that? Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's what I'm here for, my dear. It's what I'm here for. Alright, plus 30. Water-stained portrait. 
Chantry Amulus! Oh, look no further. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Uh, the bracers would have to be given to Sten, I think. Army man. Unexpected. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's what I'm here for, buddy. Ah, Andraste. Liliana, look no further. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. I mean, the Rose of Orlais, you are Orlesian. Enjoy. Why, thank you so much. Fuck. That did not go well. The Black Grimoire. Morgan, enjoy. What? You found Flemeth's Grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Hmm. So what do you hope to find within us? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... Interesting. Is that a plus? Oh, a plus ten! Actually got a quest update as well. That should be in the premium content. No! Should be in the companion content? Ah! Maker only knows what she'll learn from us. That's something we can talk to her about now? I'm not sure. Alright, cool. We got more gifts uh, to be giving, so we'll do that now. Uh, the Golden Scythe 490 Black. Battlefield Spear maintains the chill even in direct sunlight. Uh, optimal serving is by the drop. I don't know who to give that to. Small gold bar? Give that to me, maybe? It's a gold bar, for God's sake. Give that to Ali, I guess. Ali, you want some gold? Is that for me? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm... Wow. Yeah. I know. I know. Statuette? Is that for me? Oh, wow, okay. Really? Wow. Wow. Very warm. I'm... Wow. Silver chain? We'll give that to Liliana. Why, thank you so Ah, uh, not Grace. Not Grace. But do you want this? Oh, thank you. That's very nice. And what about the... What about the bracelet? i give that to... To Liliana? Why, thank you so much. Yeah, she is not really into jewelry, is she? I should probably be giving those to Morgan. Who the Christ do I give this portrait to? Here's Stan. I am impressed. My thanks. No shit. No shit. Okay. Okay. And, uh... This to Ali? Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Ah, uh, fuck it. And we also have some runes as well that we can also be uh, dealing with. Ooh. Minor constitution, good stuff. Uh, what can we, what, so what do we have at the moment? We have, we have a tier three weapon. Do I really want to be putting runes into a tier three weapon? I don't think so, in fact, no, no, no. I'll talk to you again, though. What do you wish of me? Can we speak about something personal? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. We are in camp, why are you still here? I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. I don't want you to leave. Then I assume our discussion ends here. That was a minus ten. That was a minus ten. That undid... That essentially undid me giving her the Black Grimoire. So, I feel good about that. What do you wish of me? Fucking idiot. Okay, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Now then, let's try and recover some of this, shall we? How'd you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike. Dragging the young boy, kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. I dare say hilarious. She must have been doing this for quite a while. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. 
She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Yeah, kind of. I mean, can you change into other human forms? The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Oh, fair enough. Can anyone do what you do? Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. If you had a notion to learn such a skill for yourself, sadly, you must remain disappointed. I am a dwarf. I mean, do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me. It is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat, prowled shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. You don't want to fully, you know, submit yourself to the wild side. Hmm. What do other animals think of you? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. Very true. And I have never even heard of that type of magic. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded lore from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. I assume you mean the apostates. Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of what might be is a dangerous path to walk. There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. That's all I wanted to know. Tell me I recovered something. Indeed. Please. Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Uh, placate, placate, placate. Maybe tied to a flagpole and tickled. I wouldn't advise it. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Ah, look at that. A plus one. Now it's only a minus nine. Phenomenal. Brilliant. 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 Let's have another chat. What do you wish of me? Uh, let's see here. If you must. I do must. I do must. So, you have been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> You are very cute to ask so many questions. Oh, hot damn, we're in there now, people. You're cute when you're evasive. Oh, let's all be cute together. Ah, that's definitely gonna get me laid. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Ooh, terrifying. And you really had no trouble with them at all? I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part. Or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. I mean, did you actually kill them all? Me? No. I never did any of the killing until later. And even then, Flemeth was a glutton for that sort of thing. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere, and we would be lost within the forest once again. 
I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Hmm. And tell me, what exactly is an apostate? You do not know. The zealots use that word for any magic they do not control. The Chantry sees any mages not leashed to the Circle of Magi as apostates. And apostates could become Maleficarum, evil mages that resort to blood magic and become demon-enslaved abominations. It may even be true. Still, those of us who prefer freedom see no reason to submit. Yeah, if I were a mage, I might think the same as you, I think. Thank you for small favors, then, at the very least. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Ah, plus three. Now it's only a minus six. Okay, you know what, people? I think, um... I think that's pretty good. We recovered quite a bit. Morgan, you and I, oh, we'll talk later. Let's go have a chat with, uh, and by the way, yes, this is an episode pretty much entirely dedicated to... The fuck is this guy? Pretty much dedicated to uh, making sure our companions and I are in a very good state. We need them for the end. Something I can help with? I think you should go. Get the fuck out. Uh, what would someone like you be doing in Lothering's Chantry? What is meant by someone like me? Fuck. Okay. Um. You know, d yep, we can save this. You know, a beautiful, charming woman like yourself. And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, there were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? Oh, hell to the yeah. Um... What about your fruit? Is that forbidden? Ho 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 ho! Oh ho ho ho! Ah, uh, but no, we're not a filthy fuck. Uh, those initiates could not have been any more lovely than you. Flatterer. Yeah. I, however, did not take vows, and so perhaps I am not as enigmatic? The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Ah, very good. I don't know what that is. We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. Ah, oh, no shit. And what did you do before that? I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. I must say, you are quite fine with that bow. Is that a plus six? You're goddamn right. Oh, we even have a skill acquired. This is why you talk to these people. Anyway, we're going to uh, make a quick rendezvous back at Redcliffe. Not going to talk to these guys yet. Not until we get a better weapon. Weapon I'm quite frankly uh, proud to put enchants into. My boy. Oh, why you little? Ali, what are you doing? You're harassing my dog, Ali. Me harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Oh. You're taking your hand off. Don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Good boy. Good boy. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Ali, the fuck you doing? Don't listen to him, he's just full of old rubbish. Hey! <laughs> Good boy. Ugh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. Oh? Oh dear. Why doesn't he share his food with me? You are welcome to this if you really want it. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. 
and tell him not to do it again. <laughs> ah, well, you heard the lady. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. That dog is far too smart. He is certainly manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. <laughs> okay, well, in fact, we're going to put in a small cut here. When we come back, we will definitely dive on into Redcliffe and uh, try and get this boy out. Remember, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. That would mean a hell of a lot to me if you could. Uh, have a good day, and I will see you for the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>